fix this lighting, y'all. I'm trying to do this the right way. So, yeah, I know you can see a little bit of my setup in the background, and that's fine, too. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I uh, hope everybody's doing extremely well. Um, we are going to review, well, take a look at NARS's new foundation, the Light Reflecting Foundation. And I've picked up my first Mario Makeup by Mario um, product. I was really going to get his sculpting bronzers or sculpting, but they didn't have any left. So, and I didn't really want to try the Rare Beauty one because it was a little too red looking to me. So I just kind of was like all over the place. I wanted a new contour bronzer cream, but I couldn't find one. They were out of a lot of stuff at Sephora over here. And, um, oh well. So I picked up his soft glow highlighter because I've been looking for one that would be comparable to my cover FX one that has been discontinued, has since been discontinued. Um, so this is what it looks like. Hopefully you guys see how pretty that is. Let me swatch it for you. Look at that. Very pretty. So, um, yeah, we're going to keep this video short and sweet. Um, I'm going to try to do a quick little, nothing fancy, because I wanted to try my um, Stila palette. I haven't used it. It has glitter in it, and I've been trying to, you know, perfect laying down my glitters. So, that's what we're going to do today. Something really quick. Um, I hopped on so quick, y'all forgot to wet my sponge, but I'm going to have to go wet it, but get to that part of the makeup routine so yeah so if you catch this on the replay just say replay fam yeah we're gonna make this really quick the eye look we we're not gonna make that too too complicated um so this is the Stila palette that i have it is the um after hours one and i literally just wanna you know kind of slap a couple of the whole shades on um, maybe not pretty pink. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, of course, put down my little tape like I always do. Just in case you're wondering, eyebrows are the, um, brow kiki from One Size Beauty. And then, um, the little flicker, um, fake brush hairs, <laughs> brush, I mean, uh, Hair brush is from um, NYX. This is their Lift and Snatch. I've really kind of gotten into this pen a lot. So though, that's what's literally all on my eyebrows. So let me get my little tape done. I don't know. I just like the way this, this look is. So I hope everybody's doing well. I know I just pop on so randomly. Um, so you guys were asking me about Sunday, but I want to go ahead and get this video up because um, everybody has a video up, of course, of this particular um, foundation already. So, um, yeah, so I'm okay with, why can I get my tape? So we want to use regular tape so I can get that tape open. But why can't I get it open? It should open. I think it's stuck or something. Oh, there you go. Woo, child. That was a lot. <clears throat> oh, because, you know, they changed this Sephora tape. And, honey, let's see if this going to even work. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> okay, let me get some more. I had damaged that piece too badly. <laughs> I call this a Valentine's Day look. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's see. What we can see what this light shade does. Mm -hmm. I think the name is on the back. Thank God. <laughs> let's see. 
Ooh. Hopefully that's the leaning and that's toast. We're gonna go in with last round. I don't know, that little gray, little smoke. Okay, it literally looks like I didn't put anything on, which may be a good thing. Okay, now I, show, I can see it on this side a lot better. Okay, I don't want to actually take that all the way up to the brow bone. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to take the shade, I hope this is right, all nighter. It's like a little burgundy something. <laughs> I'm going to try to take that shade. I might just go ahead and try to do like a little halo. Hey, what's oh? This is more brown than halo. I mean, um, okay, that's more brown. That's fine, though. It's pretty. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just going to go ahead and connect it up right there. Oh, I feel like something biting me. Hey, two ten years. Okay, this is a nice shade. Just putting this in now, cause we're gonna. I just go in with that little glitter shade and see what it looks like. Cause I've really been trying to practice my glitters because I don't like the way they've been looking. Like, shouldn't mine be a little smoother? The Stila After Hours palettes. I'm glad y'all be saying plenty. Y'all know we be on here doing the most when we need to be doing the least probably. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna actually just bring that shade up just a little bit. And then I'm just going to take the brush that we started off with and just kind of blend that up a little bit. Give us a little bit of um, definition right here. We're actually going to go in with the, this uh, yeah, it's pink or I don't know. We, we, we'll see in a second. We're just out here trying to see because I really wanted to try to see why I can if I can get my glitters to work a little bit better like I feel like I'm doing something wrong like I feel like they should be so smooth mine don't look like that to me when I do it sometimes so we just gonna practice today practice make perfect they say <laughs> aren't gonna make this very complicated people and she's just gonna pick up that color now and just kind of what this side look better oh no it's just always some ain't it let's see do i want to go in with this little Okay, no. Mm, hold on, y'all. I don't know what I want to do right now. <laughs> Being so indecisive today. I'm just, I like this shade. It's an all over shade. And it's building up nicely, so. That's always a good thing. Okay, let's just go straight into a, the glitter that's in this palette. I'm going to show it to you all in just a second. I'm going to grab my glitter glue, and I'm going to grab my flat shader. Let's see what we can come up with. I wonder if I should put down... They don't really have... I was going to say maybe I should put down... But they don't really have a shimmer... It'll kind of go. Okay. Let's just see what we looking like. And 
And I think what I've been doing is letting the glue sit too long. I think. So that's one reason why I want to try to try this today just to see. And I'm actually going to pick this shade right there. That pink shade. And I'm going to pick that up on my... Oh, okay. So it's just a matter of how I've been pressing it in. Okay. Maybe that's what it is. And not letting it get all the way dry. Okay. Maybe it looks really cute. Okay, girl. Well... Because I kept saying, why my glitters don't look foily like everybody else's? <laughs> if that makes any sense. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So I'm going to go back in with our little one shade that we really kind of just been rocking with. And then I'm going to take this brush that had our glitter glue on it. And I'm actually going to press a little bit of glue. I'm going to pick up this light light pink shade and I'm just gonna kind of run it through the center of it to give it a look mm -hmm. so anybody else that's been struggling I'm actually turning it on its side anybody else been struggling with that glitter glue like me I mean you just and I was like why my stuff don't look like flushed if that makes any sense it just seemed like theirs was more flush to their eye. And I know because I have hooded eyes too that, you know, I won't always have, you know, the best eye looks. But I still think that it should be smooth. Like the application should be smooth. Like now. Okay. Yeah, this is the eye look. Because I just wanted to play in that glitter and figure out what the heck was I doing wrong. And I could have stand to put a little more glitter up here but i don't even think it's any more glitter left on this thing let's see i mean and more glitter glue because i like to bring mine up just a little bit so we can definitely see it okay i brought that other side up too far okay okay i like it now i'm just gonna pick up a little bit of our little shade that we've been Playing in, kind of clean up those edges a little bit, and there you have it. I just want to tap a little bit of lightness into this. I'm about to go back in with the glitter now because that kind of took over. Okay, all righty. And we'll come back. Uh oh. We'll come back to that palette in a minute. Because we're really supposed to be here for the foundation. I know. I know. But I just had to see what the issue was. You could deepen this if you wanted to. But I kind of like it like that. Um, so we only use like two shades and, and a glitter, really. Be a cute little Valentine's Day look. <laughs> if you got a Valentine. Okay. Let me see if this picks up on this flash shade of brush any better. Because it's right now it's kind of like it's not. So I'm glad we're doing our 
foundation last. So I'm just gonna go in with, uh, I've already moisturized my face, so let's grab. I'm gonna go in with my mattifying primer, even though it's late, so that's why I'm just gonna go in with my Becca. And then I'm gonna go in with my Lancome Le Base, cause y'all know this my primer that I test all foundations by at first. Just to give the foundation a shot because the La Base really helps a lot of foundations come back to life. <laughs> Mascara. This is just the Sky High. I actually need another one. I actually like this mascara. You know, I don't delve too far off into mascaras anymore. Because um, I wear lashes all the time now. See, it's not a bad mascara, though. It really kind of brings them out. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Ouch, Kim. Burly. Glitter got on my face. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Gonna let that do its thing really quickly. And then I'm gonna go in with my Lancome. My little base. I'm not gonna use much of that. And I'm just really gonna kind of concentrate it. Right here in this little center part. Hey! What up, what up, what up? Okay, we need some lashes. I wonder if these will work. I don't know what these are, though. Weavy, one of I think these were Kiss. We're just going to go with these because we're just sitting here playing, y'all. And uh, the point is to really kind of get the foundation on. But I don't have to look crazy because you know I got to take pictures for the Instagram. How's it going? How's it going? Okay. Let that do its thing. Hey, hey, hey. So, let that dry down a little bit. And I'm going to go in with some pore filler from NYX. And, you know, I'm just, just going to really just do my nose. And right here in this little, little porous. Because my nose be doing the most. I <clears throat> actually think I'm not going to contour. Just because I want to be able to. Hey, Miss Patricia. For you guys to see. That's the sunlight. I forgot to um, close the my we just play with the um, Stila After Hours palette. Something really quick. I just kind of been wanting to practice on my glitters again. So, yeah. That was that. And we're going to slap some lashes on. Because we're going to let this sit for a minute. Um, let me put a little bit of brightening. Fenty's. Uh, is this the eye bright? Or oh, bright fixed. <laughs> I think this is the color orange, as they say. Hmm. Just a little bit. Just okay. Then I'm just going to go in with my... Whatever. What brush is this? This is the Sigma 
F87. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, it was, it's sunny today, but yesterday it was raining all day, like all day, literally. <laughs> and it's so cold here. It's like 19 degrees, I think, was the high. I didn't go outside today, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that was the high. I didn't mean to bring up. Oh, can't give up. You shall not let no eyeshadow defeat you. <laughs> okay, these some big lashes, okay? Yep, them big. But they were sitting right here, y'all, and I'm just playing today. Can't give up, girl. You just get started. Yep, those are big. What can you say? I thought you were, you You said you're giving up on eyeshadow. I thought you used the primer from P. Louise. That doesn't work. Ooh. Are you setting it with powder? Because I don't set my primer. Some people do, but I don't. Are you setting it with primer? Okay, y'all, don't mind my big lashes. Ooh, but that makes such a big difference. <laughs> so, I'm going to tap conceal today. Like, I'm just going to heat up my little... And this is the Too Faced... Peach concealer. Oh wow! Is it when you spray your face down? Do you spray your face down? Make sure you're not. Um... Girl, I got a whole concealer brush right here, and I'll just be doing the most when I could be doing at least. Okay, you can tell this side is my. Hyper pigmented side. We're gonna knock that on out. Okay. I don't know then. I have, don't know. I don't know. I haven't don't know what to tell you. We have the new nice. Let's play. I clean my brush and everything because okay, so this foundation was expensive. Shoot, Nars. I think the one, the matte one was only, what, 39 This was like $49. Yeesh. I guess he's charging us for the pump because I think his other one. No, I got the, hold on. So this one I used to wear. I wonder if they are replacing this. Well, this old one. This is the Nars uh, All Day Luminous. This was like my first, really. Um, this has a pump on it though. Um, high end foundation. So I wonder if they're replacing this. And I love this one. So let's see what this one looks like. And I do have the shade Macau, but I realized that in so what did I do? What's the medium? So before this was medium, I had New Guinea. So let's just see. Cause in the Matte one, the soft matte one, I have uh, Marquise. And I thought I had Macau. So we're going to see. And if I need to exchange it, I will. Girl, you better not put on glue, really glue on your face. It's not that serious. Okay, so we are going to do... I think I'm going to put it on my face. Yeah, I'm going to put it on my face. I'm not going to... Okay, then I'm going to take the excess and get it off there. And I'm just going to stamp to see what we looking like. Ooh. Right. Don't do it. You mean went viral for the wrong reasons. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, wait a minute. We might be liking this. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't have any uh, NARS concealers anymore, so we'll just have to go in with some of my old faithfuls to see how they do. Yeah, don't do it. That's pretty. Hmm. What are we thinking? It looks kind of nice, huh? Go over this little um, bottom. Okay, so it is a medium coverage. And I know because I kind of concealed those spots back there. pre spot treated <laughs> but up here on my forehead like you know i didn't really need a lot so you can really see and i know people went in with a second layer to build up i don't necessarily like to do that because i am a powder person because i'm so oily i think that's um what helps to kind of keep my foundation and my makeup from breaking down throughout the day is that i do set it really well but yeah, I like that. Um, and because it's so late in the day, I'm just going to use the concealer from Makeup Forever in 5.1. Normally, I would go in with 5.4 as a, you know, kind of base shade, but it's late. And this is full coverage. So this is the, uh, the matte velvet skin one. Oh, thank you, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, this is a heavy-duty concealer. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but I love it. So, yeah. Just going to do a little... Hey, sunflower. We're just going to do a little bit of that, okay? Because I do like this. I love this concealer. Yes, they do. They did a great job. So, y'all, what I need to do is run off and get my sponge wet. <laughs> so, don't kill me. Hold tight, y'all. Hold tight. Hold tight. Anytime y'all see us, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that didn't take long. So this is the sponge that I got as a part of that. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. So on Amazon, I bought this pack. I think I showed it to you guys before. The Paw Paw Wonder Blender, the six pack. Um, the AOA, but you look it up by Paw Paw. And you get six of these for like 10 bucks, I think. So that's the sponge I'm using today. This one, of course, is not as pink and great as before. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's going to be super nice. I had to place me a little wet and wild order. Oh, we don't have that. Couldn't you so lucky? Um, but yeah, so I just ordered them from Amazon. Because I think it does a pretty good job. I still love my Sonya Kashuk sponges. I still use those. So this is just an alternative. Okay. I think 
that looks. Hold on, I wanna put a little bit of highlights in the center. So I'm actually gonna go in with that. What was it, NYX? Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little dab right here. And then I'm gonna blend that out. <clears throat> NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And this is in the shade. Oh God, sand. <laughs> and we're just gonna we're just doing a little a light layer of that right here. Just to add a little bit of hydration to that. Yeah, that's my favorite, the Sonia Kusho. So I ended up wanting to try this one because I like the Charlotte Tilbury one. But I wasn't in love with it. I'm in love with her mattifying one. So I was like, you know what? Let me just see which one. And I should have known NARS maybe was going to come through like that. Um, and so when I tried to, when I kind of swatched this against the old one. Well, this is the all day weightless, luminous, all day luminous weightless foundation they kind of have the same kind maybe it's of course it's more skincare properties in the um new one no it's not matte it is the light reflecting um what's it called y'all light reflecting foundation it's not matte at all hey 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 so no, it's 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 not it's not matte at all. It actually just looks like my skin looks like I got beautiful skin. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of cream bronzing. I mean, um, yeah, I might do a little bit of cream bronzing. Do I have? Let's see. We got a little fancy here. We got time. Hey, hey, hey. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm almost out. Oh, shoot. I should have placed. I placed an order with Fenty yesterday for my highlighter that I'm running out of. It's on sale for $12. Because I like that Sangria Sunset. We're going to use it today, I think, as a base. And I'm going to show y'all the new Mario. I have the, this is my first Mario product. It's his highlighter. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. This is not complicated. We're just doing a a little something because I really don't want to take take away from the uh, foundation. Hello, hello, everybody that's coming in. I'm gonna go in with uh, the Milani Merlot moment, and I'm just gonna tap it right over here because we're not doing a lot. Once I sit everything down, because you know, once I sit everything down with powder, me either. I don't have any, and I love Makeup Forever, but I don't have any. This is my first Mario purchase. And the reason I got it was because it kind of reminded me of my cover FX one. And you all know how much I love that highlight. And you know, they're getting they're getting rid, they got rid of it. So we're gonna see how it does. Hey, hot Bella. Hot. Toot, toot, toot. Okay. Okay. So now I like it. It looks looks like skin to me. It looks like straight skin. Okay, let's set the under eye really quickly. Uh, do we want to be for real, for real? Let's just sit with our, um, Too Faced. I know y'all cannot get this. The Too Faced Translucent Peach Whisper. I love this. I just love it, you guys. I love it. I'm just going to set this down really quickly, and then we're going to... I was going to get the NARS Powder. But it had like little reflections in it. So I wasn't sure if I should do, you know, with me being so oily. But I still may get it just to try it, just to see what it does on that top of the, look at that, on top of the um, foundation. 
I still may get it. And I don't think I'm, I think I'm going to use my wedding wow. Just to see if, you know, that I love my wedding wow powders, which is why I had to order. Because I can't find a deep one in the store. So I just went on and placed the order with wedding wow. Plus, I like to use it in my kit, too, so definitely. Okay, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is because this is supposed to be like a light, light reflecting. I think I'm just going to sit with my Makeup Forever, as a matter of fact, matte velvet. On, a, on my tart brush. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit and just kind of dab it around the area just to see. I don't want it to be a heavy powder set like I normally do. So yeah, this will be fine. We're just going over that little area. Okay. Looks good. Oh, I can't believe I'm about to hit pan. I'm going to have to give me another one. This is one of those products that I just love to finish my makeup with. So that's all we're going to do powder-wise, you guys. And I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day. And I will definitely keep you all posted. But um, let me go ahead and finish up the rest of my face since we're here. Um, let me put a little bit of my Wet n Wild down up underneath my eye. And I've been, like I said, y'all really like the translucent one. Don't know why, I just do. So, just right there. Okay. And we're going to bronze with our cat, our KVD. You know, it's the powder foundation. It just turned out better. And this is in the shade Rich Deep. It just turned. Thank you. It just turned out way better as a bronzer for me. So that's what I'm going to use it as. See, look at that. Oh. This is on sale too, y'all. They must be getting rid of this. So if you can't find your bronzer, a bronzer that makes you say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord today yeah i can't with the that powder is too it's like it never really set down but look at that look at come on rich deep they must like i said they must be getting ready to get rid of this i think i'm gonna go and see if i can order this and, and get this shade because look at that it's just something about it it's magical i don't know why It's just magical. I just like it. I don't know. It just gives a very smooth finish. <laughs> hey, friend. Hey, girl. What's going on? Hey, girl. Hey. So, feeling a little feisty. So, let's go in with the orange blush today. Let's pull out our NARS. Hold on, our NARS palette. And we're actually going to go into Exhibit A. Y'all remember this blush palette? I'm actually going to use that right there. Um, It's not an actual bronzer, but hold on. Let me give you the exact name. I'm using it as a bronzer because it is too, it was too deep for me to use as a powder foundation. But I actually love the shade that it gives off. So this is the KVD Lock It Powder Foundation. I don't think they make that blush palette anymore. Don't kill me. But yeah, I wasted some powder on here. But yeah, this is what I've turned into my bronzer. But it's something about this tone that just pops just right on my cheeks. I love it. And it is on sale. It is on sale, okay? Don't y'all all run up there. Don't y'all all try to go to Sephora and buy up the... I'm just playing. Actually, I'm finna, when I get off with y'all, I'm going to double check. 
Okay. All right. Why well, that? What is the bronzer? What do you mean? It's 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 the KVD Beauty. <laughs> It's the Lock It Powder Foundation. It's in the shade Rich Deep 220. It is actually a powder foundation that I use as a bronzer because of the shade. Okay, let's see what this... Uh, this is the... Uh, woo child, y'all got a hard to go. This is the makeup. This, been, this is my first makeup by Mario Purchase. And I have... <laughs> you're not buying anything this is the soft glow highlighter in bronze and you guys look at that shade oh uh, it was like please be the new highlight i need you know so i'm just gonna take my little highlighter brush and Ooh. Yes. <laughs> yes. oh it builds up nicely Oh, 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 okay. So I'm just going to press it. Oh, thank you, boo. Oh, thank you. Oh, look it. You guys, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. What eyeshadow palette patience did you get from them in the eyeliner pencil? Eyeliner pencil. Okay, eyeliner pencil. <sighs> Y'all, I love it. This is super nice. That is a pretty color for my skin. Oh, mm -hmm. let me just run a little of my. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw his um, eyeshadow palette in the store and I don't, it just didn't hit me like pick me up by me. I don't know. Maybe because I got so many palettes. Um, and it doesn't seem like this is going to be the year of palettes. It seems like this is going to be the year of um, foundations again. Ooh, I'm here for them. <laughs> that is super, super nice. Yeah, I don't think, I think this is going to be the year for found for all of that. The master, okay, the master palette. Yeah, I saw that, and um, I was like, mm, mm, I can skip that. <laughs> oh my god, not a makeup lover, <laughs> girl. A hot mess is what I am. I know it's not too, I thought it was gonna be a little too glittery just looking at it. Um, in the pan so you guys can really see that reflection but it's actually not it's actually very soft yeah I like it as I pile on more and more <laughs> and more okay that's it you guys I'm going to let's spray our face down I like it I like the way everything turned out so how do we feel about the foundation I like it I think for it to be a medium, yeah, I think you should give it another chance. For this to be a medium with skincare, oh, okay. Now, hold on, y'all. Okay. I don't know. It just gave. It just really gay. I like it too. Thank you, doll face. It just gave me what I needed. Y'all. 
taking off my lip cream oil that I put down before. <laughs> Let me put a little bit of, uh, let's just do a little bit of lip right quick. Because I was really just supposed to be here for the foundation, you guys. Thank you, Patricia. I'm going to let it dry down. And then we can really take a look at the... But for this to have been a... Y'all know this is um my problem side. So for it to have really covered that side up as well as it did... Even though I did put a little bit of concealer down, it's still holding the foundation. Excuse me. The foundation is still holding its on. I went to go get re up on these pencils. They are out. I'm like, what the heck, Sephora? I was trying to get the new uh, ABH pencil. Girl, I ain't going nowhere. It's cold outside. <laughs> Plus, I cook my I cook dinner today, so I know I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. And be merry. <laughs> I got turkey necks, greens, and yams. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat my food and Wonder Woman. Um, let's figure out what's okay. So that looks a whole lot better. Y'all know how I like to do. It's nice. It's for it to be medium, is what they're saying. It's a medium. So I'm going back into our eyeshadow palette. <laughs> yeah, I, I cooked today because I knew I wasn't going nowhere. This is the after hours. This is the old Stila palette, you guys. You guys remember that, right? I just haven't had a chance to play in it like I wanted to. But let's finish our lips. Let's see. What are we going to do? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Hold on. Let's try. Okay, so I'm going to put... Let's put, I know what I'm doing. Let's see, Pat McGrath, Christy. Is this Christy? Yeah. You don't eat the Knicks. <laughs> I love them, girl. I'm such a, they're, everything smells so good in here. Crock potty. Yeah, this is the Christmas shade. The black. Yeah, this palette is not that pigmented. We're just doing a little bit. This is Pat McGrath's Christy. Her, her lip trans. You can see how much I love it. Let me find a pencil. Go back in. Hold on. Make sure that mix in well, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is Sephora Molasses. Sorry, you guys. I, I know you all I wear it all the time, so I just think you guys already know. Um, but yeah, I like that. And I'm gonna go in with Juvia's place. Hold on, let me grab it. Um if I can find it. Do I have it back here? Real tight, y'all. This from Juvia's place. Um, so glazed. It's pink iridescent. Yep, that ties in really well. Let's finish up the lower lash line while we're here. Why not, people? So actually thing I'm going to go in uh, where is it Mark Jacobs this little Mark Jacobs new one this is more like a champagne -y type instead of like a straight nude but it has a little bit of shimmer and I'm just going to coat it now you can make this a really smoky look if you want to I don't think I want to I think I want to keep it light and airy because we got glitter <laughs> I'm finished watching uh and just like that. Ooh, child, I don't like Miranda. Ooh. Okay. 
that's cute like it's not overpowering you know how sometimes you see people with the white and it just looks like ooh, i don't know it look weird to me it, it i think it has its moments and let's go in with that shade that burgundy shade that we kind of played in and let's go in with that Yeah, nude. And I have it, but I think um, sometimes it just looks, to me, too stark for me. And I'll do it like if I'm doing a really light look. But I see people doing it, and they doing a really dark look, and it just, to me, it looks kind of scary. So this shade from um, Marc Jacobs. Jesus, can I see it, you guys? Oh, my word. Oof, of course I can't. Look, it's the little champagne. It, and you know what? I don't even know why I'm talking about that. You can't even get that anymore, which is a shame. Because his did not transfer into my waterline. Okay, that looks really decent. And so they have this little champagne color too. I'm gonna use that for the inner corner. Yeah, that worked. Just a little something, a little touch. And that color, I hope I'm telling y'all this right, is, no, hold on. Let's see, whatever this shade is, let's see. That can't be right. Pink bubbly, no. Anything goes? Child, I don't know. This little light shimmer. <laughs> It pretty much matches the shimmer we put in our waterline. Okay, you guys. I like this look. Let's bring that down a little bit. Yeah, that opens your eyes up a little bit more. Okay. Took a little bit in the brow bone. Just a little bit. Yeah. Set our eyebrows, even though I don't, I'm still, I hadn't changed brow gels, y'all. This is still the Believe Beauty um, eyebrow styling gel. This is dark brown. This is like a product I just love. Because my eyebrows do not move, I'm telling you. thank you girl thank you i love it i oh oh my god thank you thank you thank you you guys this is me it's just calling my name right there <laughs> oh i'm in love okay so i like to do a little bit of layering so i'm gonna actually take my Fenty, I ordered another one, y'all, because I'm about to hit pan on this. I'm actually going to take that Sunset Sangria shade and go right up underneath the Mario one. I just like the way that looks. Oh, this is my... Mm -mm, I had to get another one. <laughs> I love it. I love the orange and everything. In this one, I use, this is called, this is Sangria Sunset, and this is called Mimosa Sunrise. Hey, Miss Booker! And normally, I just mix the two because I like it. Um, and if I do like a, I really like putting that orange on top of an orange blush as well. So, yeah. All right, you guys. Mascara the bottom lashes. If we can find any. Sure, we okay. All righty, you guys. This is the final look. Oh, thank you. I really like the way this is looking on the skin. It it just looks like I just got good skin and we all know I don't so 
for me, this would be an instant yes right now because of what it's done already. It's just making me look. It's not, you know how sometimes, uh, hey, you know how sometimes a, a foundation can make you just look like you're wearing foundation and make you look airbrushed? I'm not getting that with this. This looks like actual skin to me. And I'm here for it. And for me to have done a glam eye, because that's glitter. So you can wear this as your, if you like, if you, if, to me, I bet if you got beautiful skin, and they not paying me. NARS don't know me. I'm just saying. I can see this on, like, if you have very beautiful skin. You know, I do prep work to kind of, and I'm telling you, my Lancome, La Base. <laughs> this is what I think makes me fall in love with a lot of these foundations. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is try this with my regular, schmegular, um face prep. But if I'm going somewhere, I'm going out or whatever, this is going to be the primer I use. And you see, I don't have to use a lot of it. And they don't, to me, for, this is a lot of money to me. This should be on, whenever you can get this on sale, grab it. Um, so, I don't know. It just does a great job of making my skin look like skin. All right? All right, you guys. You know what I got to do? I got to take some pictures. <laughs> I, are we hadn't even been on her 60 minutes, you guys. Yay, no whole hour. Oh my God. Oh, I just have found, found in love with so many new, like all the stuff I use today. I love it. I love the way my eyes turned out. Mm -hmm. And we really only use two eyeshadows from that palette. That one eyeshadow and then we blended it out. Patience, tell them. I'm telling you, that La, La Base primer is a game changer. So if you have an issue with your foundations or anything not really performing like you think they should, it may be what you're priming your face with. So you saw that I mattify, I uh, pore feel, especially my nose. I pore feel my nose because my nose is really porous. And right here in this little cheek area, it's really porous. But around this part where it gives me, where I'm mainly putting most of my foundation, the La Base is just to me is what gives it that extra that you need for the foundation to be able to perform like you think it should or what they're saying it should do. So, um, yeah, I'm not mad at none. Of, I'm not mad at none of this look. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, why not? I know I rarely do a posted video. Um, so, I may try to get back into at least doing one posted and one live. I like the lives. I know that they are, you know, they are what they are in the raw. And you can always see me start to finish. So you can see how the process of makeup works to your advantage. It's not to make you, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you create new people. But no, it's still me. I'm just highlighting the things in my face that may not be as pronounced as they should be. Right, y'all? Okay, so anyway, until the next time, I will definitely see you all on the next turn. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. I am Kimberly Inks on there as well um, and on Facebook. All right, until the next time, I see you all on the next turn. Thanks, YouTube. Thank you all so much. Dang, we had a lot of people in here. Thank y'all. Woo! Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Bye. <laughs> and get a sample, right? It'll be on your list. It should already, it, it, it'll already be on her list. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, y'all.